Sea or naval mines are among the most dangerous weapons ever created. As the name suggests, these explosive devices are intended for use in water environments such as oceans, seas, or rivers. They play a crucial role in naval warfare and underwater defense strategies and, even today, are still used by many countries around the world. But there's a big problem. While these underwater mines are typically used to meet specific short-term military goals, they are almost never retrieved by those who deploy them when left unused. As a result, eliminating old, lost, or abandoned mines is vital for the safety of all vessels, be they military, commercial, or private. In the United States Navy, this responsibility falls to the Highly Skilled Explosive Ordnance Disposal, or EOD, technicians. As you can imagine, there are some massive risks related to this job. Today on Boost, we'll learn more about what kind of things this dangerous yet extremely important job includes. EOD technicians are expertly trained to locate, identify, disarm, and remove abandoned military equipment, including landmines, underwater mines, and other unexploded explosives. Given that these mines can be decades old and hidden in unexpected places, it's crucial for EODs to collaborate effectively with various military and civilian groups, responding swiftly to any potential new threats. There are many different ways a mine like this could be found. Often, it's already known that some areas used to be centers of naval warfare and could still have abandoned mines below the surface. In these cases, the EOD team could carefully scan the area using radars, metal detectors, or underwater drones. Just remember that the whole point of these mines is to destroy ships, so you have to be very careful when looking for them. The old mines that are often searched for require a physical contact by a ship to explode, at least that's how they were designed. But since these mines have potentially been underwater for decades, there could be erosion that causes them to be more sensitive to any kind of movement and even explode on their own. Besides EOD teams looking for these mines, sometimes even civilians could just by chance come across a risky finding, like these divers did in 2015 off the coast of Panama City in Florida. Yikes, I wouldn't be surprised if the water turned brown near the diver after this encounter. By the way, you can change the color of the subscription button by clicking it. A cool benefit of this is that you'll get to see more awesome videos from Boost, Disarming underwater mines is a careful and specialized process. The first step involves locating the mine, which can be achieved through sonar systems, underwater drones, or divers using metal detection technology. Once discovered, the mine must be identified, not only to confirm that it is indeed an explosive device, but also to determine the safest method of disarmament. For safety, EOD technicians may opt to neutralize the mine through a controlled explosion, this method varies significantly based on the mine's type and location. If found in the open sea, EODs typically inspect the mine, attach explosives, and detonate it from a safe distance, sometimes utilizing an ROV or another remote vehicle to minimize team risk. If the mine is located in a populated area or near vital infrastructure, EOD technicians will choose the safest method to render the mine harmless. This could involve severing wires, deactivating the trigger mechanism without detonation, or very, very carefully moving the mine for off-site disposal. The U.S. Navy regularly performs mine-sweeping operations to detect and clear naval mines from seabeds and other aquatic areas. Mine-sweeping is crucial for safe maritime navigation, especially in regions with mines laid during conflicts or as remnants of historical minefields. Airborne mine-sweeping methods, utilizing advanced magnets, acoustics, and sonar, enable helicopters to search for and clear mines sector by sector. Since the early 20th century, most military minesweeping has been conducted by ships. These minesweeping vessels, designated MCM for mine countermeasures, like the USS Gladiator, are equipped with special hull designs that reduce their magnetic and acoustic signatures, diminishing the risk of mine activation during operations. 
They carry a variety of mine countermeasure tools, including chains, cables, and sleds to sever mines' mooring lines, allowing them to surface for safe detonation or removal. Mine warfare training is an essential aspect of preparation for U.S. Navy crews, involving extensive drills, exercises, and cooperative international efforts. These activities encompass all facets of mine warfare, from detection to disarmament and disposal. The use of ROVs, especially in open waters, has become increasingly prevalent, reducing risk for divers by allowing for deep sea navigation and mine neutralization. The introduction of the Seafox Mine Disposal Vehicle exemplifies advancements in this field, offering remote operation capabilities and minimal human risk. This device, guided by fiber optics, can safely neutralize mines, showcasing the move towards more cost-effective and less hazardous mine-clearing operations. The evolution of remote-controlled vehicles, equipped with advanced technology such as sensors, GPS, and AI, has significantly enhanced efficiency and safety in mine-clearing tasks on land and at sea. These advancements suggest a future where human involvement in mine sweeping and disposal could be greatly reduced, further minimizing the risks associated with these perilous undertakings. However, the main challenge remains the unknown number and locations of potential sea mines, some of which can remain active for over a century. Technological advancements are beginning to enable detection of these threats even at the deepest ocean floors, posing risks to marine life and underwater structures. Comprehensive mapping and disposal efforts are crucial, as demonstrated by ongoing operations involving a variety of vessels and aircraft, highlighting the global naval commitment to mitigating the threat of unexploded mines. The evolution of sea mines in recent years presents new challenges for their detection and elimination. Unlike older mines, modern sea mines are equipped with technology that makes them harder to detect and neutralize. These mines can be programmed to recognize the specific acoustic or magnetic signatures of certain ships, making them selective and thus more dangerous. They often incorporate advanced materials that reduce their detectability by standard mine-sweeping methods. Modern mines may utilize pressure wave activation, reacting to changes in water pressure caused by a ship's presence rather than direct contact or proximity. The increasing complexity of these mines means that traditional mine-sweeping techniques might not work anymore. Future efforts to eliminate old sea mines will have to deal with these advancements. In any case, underwater sea mines and any kind of mines in general remain an issue. Did you know that between 15 and 20,000 people die each year to different kinds of mines, with 80% being civilians, mostly children? That's not a good statistic. Let me know your thoughts about this video in the comments below. If you found this video interesting, please click the thumbs up and subscription buttons. Watch the next video by Boost, like this one on your screen now.